Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade strawberry jam. And here it is. Now, this is still warm. Um, so on this video, I'll show you how to, this is now how you actually store it. Um, this is an airtight jar which I've reused. Um, um, in this video, I'll show you how to make the jam and even tips on how to store it now no, after making them. Now, um, I wish I can test this and tell you how it is, but watch till the end and you see how it how I ended up uh, before I put it in, how it tastes. Um, I'm sure you learned something new. It has It's a very simple ingredient uh, recipe uh, and I hope you learned something new. Let's get cooking. So welcome to the show. Now, today's recipe, um, the strawberry jam. Um, I also have some uh, raspberries here. You can actually use raspberries as well for the same, uh, for the recipe. Actually, I find raspberry, raspberries easier to work with because you don't have to remove or hull, remove the top, the one that which has the green part. Uh, but for raspberries, they'll be a little bit tart because they are not as sweet. Uh, uh, as strawberries but it's up to you you can even mix strawberries and raspberries for this recipe i chose just to go strawberries alone so what i've already done is removed the 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 green leaves that are on top hulling it um it's called hulling uh, the, the strawberry and you just need to remove just the top and then the other thing about these strawberries that i have they're actually frozen strawberries now what usually happens i sometimes I, I i go to the supermarket and i find strawberries at a very good price so i usually buy them in bulk even raspberries especially raspberries they usually at a very good price sometimes a very low price you can buy them put them in the freezer as they are and and but what happens when you put them in the freezer they tend to be really soft and soggy so when they are defrosted they are really soft um, and for me it's no problem especially when you want to make them into a jam which is what we want to do now these ones will actually uh, uh, break uh, um, become mushy which is also what i want um, if i was using fresh strawberries what i would have done is cut them into smaller pieces because when they are fresh they'll be hard and they will take a longer time when they are cooking to become soft and you know to, to break apart to smaller pieces so when they are frozen it's much easier and so what i have here in terms of ingredients is just three i have lemon juice um, i squeezed half a lemon like this one um, half of it uh, so that's that and then sugar and strawberries they are basically the same amount so this was about 250 grams of um, strawberries when they are cut like this and then all i need is make sure they have the same amount of sugar um, you also need a spatula this is really important um, especially a rubber one that is flexible and later i'll show you how to store them in a uh, airtight jar like this one so the first thing you want to do is to start cooking the strawberries i'll use high heat so they are uh, some of them are still frozen um, but not like freshly you know not hard uh, but most of them are already defrosted and soft so what i do is place them into a, to a pan you want them to start cooking uh, in their own juices but also add the lemon juice lemon juice cuts down the um, the sugars the sweetness it makes it balanced it's an important ingredient and then what i want to do is start cooking them on uh, medium heat they will start producing water like you can see and this is now the frozen ones some are really soft like this one so it's can it's crushing easily so what i want to do right now is to break them or crush them like that i don't want my jam to be with big lumps of strawberries So I'm increasing the, the heat. I want 
the water to also evaporate some of it. So basically you want them to cook until they are soft and mushy like that. Again, the very big ones, just try and trash them. You can leave some lumps. And then at this point, I'm going to add the sugar. Now you can reduce the sugar by 50 grams. If you want it to be less sweet, if you have 250 grams of strawberries, you can use 200 grams of sugar. So what you're going to do now, when you add the sugar, is to mix the sugar and the strawberries. Again, break the lumps. So what is happening now, when you add the sugar, the sugar will start melting um, and becoming a liquid basically. And the idea is to, when, you, when you've added the sugar, you mix it the way I've just mixed it, and then you let the sugar start coming to a simmer. When it starts simmering, reduce the heat to medium so that the sugar starts cooking slowly. You want it to a gentle simmer. And this can take up to eight to 10 minutes on medium heat. So it's now ready. Um, you have to be very careful whenever you're cooking this for the fire not to be too hot. What will happen if it's too hot, it will actually burn on the bottom of the pan. Also, when you add the sugar after the first stir, you don't need to keep stirring it. You need to leave it, um, uh, when, you, when it mixes completely with the strawberries, leave it so that it starts um, uh, cooking and then don't stir again for after about five minutes you only do it after five minutes otherwise what will happen is that the sugar will crystallize and now i'm actually going to turn off the heat now what i want to do now what i prefer doing is removing this excess foam sometimes it can be really bad or really thick so I'm just skimming the top. So I've done that. So how you also know it's cooked, I forgot to say that. Um, apart from checking and making sure that it doesn't burn, is when you dip a wooden spoon or even a spatula like this, it should coat uh, the, the, the spatula. And it's a little bit hot right now. So if you let it cool down for a little bit, and then you pass your finger down like that, it should leave, it should not come back together. Um, when you pull your finger like this, the jam will actually um, not come and cover that part that you have um, removed the jam. So now, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. Like I said, can remove the excess not all of it the foam some of it is good some of it is um, not good so leave it like that and now you have your jar so when you have an airtight jar like this uh, this I'm actually reusing it's clean um, all I need to do is for for wait for this jam to cool down slightly and then I'll pour it into the jar and then cover it and then what will happen is that the jam will actually, um, uh, when, it, when it completely cools down, the, the jar will actually be airtight. And usually what happens with this kind of a jar is the, 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 the lid will sink you know, at the center. It will be sucked in and that's how you'll know it's airtight. And when you open it and when you seal it like that, it can actually stay for even up to a year. Um, uh, when it's sealed like that but when you open it just store it in the fridge and use it for maybe about three months but I know this jam will not take long because it's really sweet um, whenever I make it I always uh, um, uh, it doesn't take long for it to get finished 
the lamps are still there so now i'm going to pour it be careful start with the big lamps Now I've sealed it, um, so what will happen is that as it cools down, um, it will form an airtight uh, compartment inside here and it will keep for long. Now it's still hot. Uh, now this is just a, um, a jar that I've reused. It, it, I think it, it had something else, um, can't remember what it was, either mustard or something. Um, so you can do that, make sure it's clean and then now what I like most is the tasting. Actually, for this jam, you actually will be tempted to be eating it instead of having it on bread. Uh, let me. Mm. Especially the strawberry flavor. This, there's no way you can beat this flavor or this taste um, in terms of buying it. This, um, I don't think you can buy something like this whatever they, they you buy in the store will not give you these results and all i did is use equal amounts of sugar and strawberries cooked it for about 10 minutes on low heat and there you have it jam now this is about um if i estimate it um uh, it's about 400 grams so that's the yield um of the total jam and um, maybe it's something that you'd want to use for you know for commercial purposes you can give it a try and see if it's something that'll be profitable but for home use definitely this is a thing so i hope you've learned something new i'm signing out i'm chef rafael and until next time goodbye